Hey, what's up everybody? This is Bobby here at Space One FPV and today I want to share the all new Aurora 5 inch. That's right, the all new Aurora 5 inch which is available in a X or a stretch which I have here opened already. So anyways, let's get right to the point. As you open the package, it comes with um, your main frame, top plate, camera plates, and your relocation antenna VTX plates. Um, eight screws, four standoffs, and hardware for your Runcam Micro or your Runcam Mini. And uh, battery strap with uh, rubber backing, prevent your battery from slipping. Um, some pretty cool decals. And uh, so anyways, uh, let's get right to the point and uh, let's put it together and I'll do some explaining on what is what and why it goes where. So these go here. This goes there. And so forth. One of the cool things about this frame is you'll notice the slots here. So this is for, you know, if you want to use your regular size flight controller or if you want to use that little mini 20 millimeter flight controller. So that's what those slots are for. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and put the, the camera together. So this is the camera you can run, the run cam. And that's why that slot is made there for this guy. Um, the screws that you would use for, for this would be the two short ones. So we're going to go ahead and put these over off to the side. And we're going to go ahead and put together with this camera, the micro run cam. Because I know a lot of guys want to save weight, especially if you guys are racing and all that good stuff. So you want to use the long one. Put it like so, grab two of the clear washers. And you want to be careful with these. You don't want to lose them because you can't lose them very easily, especially when you unpackage them. You got to be careful. Then grab this guy here. Make sure he's right side up. Screw him in like so while you're holding that guy down there. And there you have it. <clears throat> grab the other one and do the same like so grab both washers grab your camera and screw it in don't try to do this with these plates installed on your quad trying to get these washers in between that'll be a nightmare so this is how you mount this camera and you just place these in the slot like so. Now it does fit just slightly snug because the last thing you want is a vibrating camera. Then this top plate goes like so. Now the top plate is made out of G10 which G10 does not conduct electricity as carbon fiber. Sometimes a screw can bottom out on a motor or something can bottom out, ground out. Now you're having electricity flow through your frame. Top plate to your antenna which will fry your VTX or it'll run really hot you'll get some bad video and we do not want any of that especially when you're racing so therefore that's the reason for the G10 top now we'll go ahead and place these screws like so and I'll just place them in there place just really quick like so save some time on this video and now these two little guys right here you could actually place these either side you can go to the as far as, as far forward as this or you can put them back here so if you put them down here pretty much run your cable through there put that guy in there And now you have your antenna forward. Anyways. I know some people like to run it forward. Or you can run it back here. 
So that's how that bad boy goes. Now these two holes here, that's for your antenna tubing. So pretty much grab one of these, you place them in here. Now if it's a little loose, all you do is just grab a little bit of CA and just put a little bit of CA right there on the side and that'll hold it in place. And then you can run your, your uh, receiver antennas through here. So there you have it folks. It's the all new 5 inch Aurora. This is Bobby here at Space One FPV and signing out. Make sure you check us out www.spaceonefpv. Space One, have fun.